hey guys what's going on um yeah so I'm hot in a tank anyway this video is kind of like a vent kind of telling you what's going on so Saturday morning envelope on my step it was for a job I took a test for two years ago I took a test for um, New York City transit enforcement so that means giving tickets directing traffic but mostly I would assume it's giving tickets for people double parked or a meter whatever so meter me how I feel about that job is this um I'm the kind of person that I want to be happy in a job um at least happy enough for, to stay there because if I'm not happy you know I'm more inclined to leave and I see that as a high stress job I mean just because I think it's based on quota because that's what it I believe oh my gosh that's my bird that's what it said <laughs> that's what it said um, while taking the test and I spoke to somebody who was a cop and he mentioned quota something or other and I was like what anyway but that's a different story so it's kind of coming at a strange time because surgery is next month and I was about to file for school and financial aid. So the plus about this is, at first I was worried about the timing. But the plus is, if I get this job, I at least know where I stand, whether it's um, full-time college or part-time college. Like, I would at least still try to take a class on the weekend. Because at the end of the day, I still want to get my degree anyway. My biology degree because I want to work with animals, etc. So, um, I was mad because I'm in the top uh, floor of my house. My mom moved my stuff years ago. So, long story short, she lost it. Like, I'm sure it's in a bag somewhere in my important documents. My mom was the kind of person, no disregard to, no, I mean, no regards to my, my things. So can't find my diploma, can't find my birth certificate. So my plan is to go tomorrow to get my birth certificate first and um, my college transcripts. So to me, I would feel that, listen, you know, college transcript is better than you know, my, my high school diploma and my high school diploma is a bit far and at the same time, I might not be able to get it same day. And uh, but what I'm going to do, I am going to walk with the number tomorrow. So when I am getting my um, after I get my birth certificate, I call them up like, hey, can I? Is it possible for me to get my birth certificate the same day? Um, so I'm still going to like want to get it if they can send it to me. That's fine. But I am going to get my transcript tomorrow. So um. Because I have to go to the interview this Thursday. I just sent my, uh, well, I'm about to send my resume to my aunt so she can print it out for me. And um, just try to get copies of um, these things. So I'm mad. The vent is because, number one, my mom is the original person that lost my stuff. Like I said, she has no regards for your property. If it's not hers or if it's not about her, she doesn't care. Um, my mom drives and I asked her to drive me. She's like, oh, I'm, I can't. And I know she can, it's just she doesn't want to. But if it was vice versa, my mom had me had me go with her to get, she needed some kind, she, the same place that I need to get my birth certificate, she had me go to that same place with her. And she, my mom has her own store. What's the problem? You know, my mom will, if it's for her, like I said, if it's for her, it's for her. If it's for you, it's like, eh. But at the same time, she's the kind of person that she'll want you to do stuff for her and just and if you tell her no it's a big problem so I'm just tired of that but the plus is if I do get this job and they allow me to get my surgery because you know, nothing's stopping me getting my surgery can you knock it off and I get my surgery then it's going to be a walking job you know and and they have benefits and hopefully the benefits is good enough where I can get braces so I can at least get that I if I were to get the job I will see how I feel about having the job after six months and take it from there I can't
say it's just a, a government job. It's something that I'm going to be with for very long. Because it's outdoors. I'm outdoors. I'm outdoors all the time. Like, no. If it was in California or a place that had warm weather, yeah. But snow and all that, trying to give people tickets? Mm mm. But I just feel like if I have this job, if I get this job, I'll just have some change in my pocket, hold me down for a little while. I mean, nothing to do anything serious with, but let's say I don't get this job, I at least would know I can take full-time classes. So it's still a win-win, but I mean, I was just mainly mad because it's like, I'm just trying to get information from my aunt. My mom's at my grandmother's, because they're at my grandmother's, and she's yakking, she's giving information, she's assuming I'm talking about this, I'm like... I'm talking to my aunt, and my mom's yakking, and I'm like, mind your business, I'm not talking to you, you don't know what I'm talking about. So, it's it's kind of like, you're not helping, you're not offering to say, let me drop you, my bad, I lost your stuff. You're not doing anything. Shut up. So, I'm just really fed up with my mom. If you guys haven't already known, my mother and I have a horrible relationship, horrible relationship. Um, it's a long story. I don't know if I'll get into it, but right now I'm just drained. I was madder the first take takes, but it's just like I'm just so like, uh, you know. So all I can look forward to is, you know, I'm not even gonna stress myself because, and I'm gonna tell them like, if I can only get my transfer, I'm gonna tell them this is it. It's so my transfer for my college. I can give you the high school diploma at a later date because I don't have it. You know, I'm going to get my birth certificate tomorrow. You know, everything else is fine. You know, my aunt's going to watch my son on Thursday. So that's really great. I'm really thankful for my aunt. If it wasn't for my aunt, listen. I'd be what, up S-H-I-T's Creek. I think that's what's the phrase because my mom, it's like she had me and that was it. It's like, I probably would have been better off with a wolf because it's like, my aunt's the one who did my hair. The aunt, my aunt's the one that took me out. You know, told me I was beautiful. So that's kind of why I've always knew, known that, you know, I, I was a beautiful person inside and out. So I never felt ugly. Fat, yeah, definitely not ugly. So uh, it's just my mom has screwed me over. If you've known the things, you'd be like, oh my goodness, girl. I don't know how you can take it. And I stay strong, you know, and that's the crazy part about it. So it's just things, bad things have happened to me. No support, no, no care, no tenderness. But at the same time, she's the kind of person that wants care and tenderness. Like, how can you, how can you feel that somebody can show emotion to you and show love and compassion and be close to you when you're mean? She has no filter. She says how she feels. She's selfish. Like, if I, if she's driving in the car and everyone else is hot and she's cold, listen, that window's staying up. She's like, she'll be like, this is my car. There's no medium. There's no, okay, let me open the window or crack or nothing, you know? And it's just, it's frustrating. I'm tired of people like that in my life. So when I found out about the job, it's, you know, it pays enough for me to move out. Not, like, a crazy amount for me to do a lot of things with enough if I stayed to move out. But at the same time, don't do that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, I'm about to make this video short. Come here. Because my son's not listening. And he's going to start crying because I turned this away. So, um, that's all I can say. The plus about this whole situation is, at least I know, if I get it, where I can go. And if I don't get it, where I can go. So, it's either school or work. I mean, it's, you can't lose in that, you know. And I'm going to have my surgery, hopefully, cross fingers, insurance is great, regardless. So, I mean, everything is a go after that. Um, to any new subscribers, I'm gonna say thanks. Ooh, okay, fix myself, you know. I am burning up in this house, it's ridiculous. Ugh. Man. But anyway, not to make this video any longer. 
I'll talk to you guys soon. I think I had something to say. Um. Oh, did your doctors talk to you about gall gallbladder removal? Was it something that you spoke about? Because I feel that my doctor is like gallbladder happy, and he'd just be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. taking this out." Like I have, we haven't had that talk, and I forgot to ask him. But I want to take my gallbladder, and I want to, if it has to come out later, then it'll have to come out. But usually it has to come out because people are losing a lot of weight, so. I don't think I'd want to sabotage myself, but I know I'm the kind of person I want to lose weight fast. But I do know I want to take the Aptagol, and I want my gallbladder. It's, I think up to six months you have to take Aptagol. So, yeah, like, did, was it something that was discussed? Like, did you say, I don't want it out? And he was like, no, it's coming out, you know? So I'm going to figure that out. And um, I'm watching my son. It's like he's up and he's getting into so much trouble. It's crazy. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.